Howdy, Nick Reinhardt here. Uh, today I'm at Perfect Circuit in Burbank, California, talking gear, specifically um, my use of the SP404. I've used this thing in many bands over the years, my band Terramelos. I would mostly use these for cueing sounds on stage, like old punk rock style when you want like, you know, someone saying something crazy right before like you drop this crazy breakdown or something like that. So I used the 404s for probably 15 years and kind of modded them to use this like foot controller and da 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 and I, I was kind of, I was in the 404 zone but not super deep in terms of using this as a tool like or a compositional type thing. So anyways, this whole last year during COVID, I got kind of like the bug to be like, I kind of want to go a little deeper on the 404 and figure it out and you know see what I can really do with this beyond loading samples into it, pressing them, you know, adding a reverb or something like that. It says 404A on it, but it's really an SX. It it'll have the same you know like components and workflow as um, the SX. And then it's also the MK2 is the brand new one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I haven't touched one of those yet, but I've heard that one's really neat. So anyways. There's my preamble about what I'm even doing today. Um, so, moving forward, my interest is running a guitar rig into the mic in, capturing these sounds, you know, sampling them, as I would normally do on, say, let's, you know, like a DL4 or something like that, or in a DAW program or whatever, but now we're just doing, you know, a different version of that, which is interesting to me. So, I'll give you the, like, rundown on what this little rig is going into it real quick. My Fender jag um, but I'm actually using mostly this contact mic that I have mounted to it which sounds like this I thought that was like a really kind of like strange idea because um, this contact mic picks up so many like neat percussive sounds on the body of the guitar including all the metal that's on a jag You know, basically everything, any, any acoustic sound you can make on the guitar gets picked up by the mic. So it's kind of just a neat thing. And then, well, I'll show you, I'm gonna send that through all these pedals and make cool sounds with it. So uh, that goes into this Boss, I think this is an LS2. It's a line, line selector. So I could switch between, you know, the, the regular guitar signal. Let's see, which would go like. Something like that. Uh, then that goes into this Source Audio C4 synth pedal. Uh, and then it goes into the Red Panda Particle, which goes into the Red Panda Context, which goes straight into this just, you know, quarter inch on the front here. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm gonna try and capture this and try and make something out of it and show you again what the process would be for a dork learning about this for the first time. I'm not as fast on this thing as a lot of YouTubers and SP404s, so bear with me. I need to kind of like remember some of the little things here. I'm just learning, but I am gonna set my auto level to three. That much I remember. Okay, let's go here. Oh, there we are, okay. We're not in stereo mode because you don't want to record in stereo mode because then when you're resampling everything, you can only hit a certain amount at once and then you get really frustrated. That might happen. I might forget to turn off stereo mode at some point and that will really suck. And then I'll be like, ugh, I gotta do, do all this again. Basically, you're gonna just see like how the sausage is made when it comes to the, the 404. So, all right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Um, Okay, now we need to test that. We need to kind of go over what we just did and see if it works for what we want. I do all of this stuff in a DAW on the grid. I'm a grid guy and I'm easily like triggered by non-gridded drums, but I'm like warming up to it. Uh, usually like I'll do all this in Reason or whatever logic or something and then you know, quantize it to where I want, but then I'm creating the human feel by tweaks and, you know, additional things, but I really like the drums to be on. So 
Anyways, I'm warming up to this, so let's see what this sounds like. Well, we're gonna have to mark it, so let's go, we'll go there first. That's on. That's straight up in there. Let's listen to one full, we'll let it go through once. Okay, it's, that's like, it's slightly jank, but I, again, I feel like when you're in this hardware zone and you're not doing this on a computer, you have to accept there is going to be jank in there. So, and this is a level of jank I'm comfortable with. So, okay, I like that as a first thing. So next, I do have two preloaded samples in here, just a uh, bass drum and a snare sound. So here I got a couple of basic sounds. So I think next we'll try and resample this with some bass drum and snare sounds. Um, I think I can do this. Let's see, so we'll drop that in two. Oh, stereo. Got it, yes. All right, here we go. I get it? Close enough, feeling pretty right. I mean, you hear like my, right now, like listening back to that on camera and people watching this, I'm like, it's not, it's not quite the way I would do it. <laughs> I mean, I, did, I know I just did that, but not the way I would do that on a computer. I'd have it a little more in the pocket, but like, I get it. This is what I'm saying. I'm getting used to like this, you know, world of sampling this way. So that's cool. I like that. Uh, I do want to end up resampling this with some compression, but I think I'll do, we'll do another auxiliary sound out of our, out of our contact mic here. So let's go to, okay, so I like that, so. The other thing I've noticed is it's kind of crucial to stay organized when it comes to this. So basically what's going to be happening is like we're going to be resampling this, taking the little recording we just made and then kind of deleting the one that we made right before that. And it's like an organizational thing, which I'm not particularly great at, but I'm, I'm understanding the workflow with this thing. So, uh, so what I would do is I would delete the original one then I would exchange that and go there. Cool, we gotta keep it tidy, kind of crucial. So, now I'm gonna get this little sound. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Hmm. Let's go, let's just grab it. So let's go to resample. We'll go into three, boom. Do you see what I'm saying right there at the end? And it's like micro, right? And there's some rippers, there's a trick where you can, you know, there's trimming. I'm not there yet. I kind of want to just get it on the first try, but I know th there'll be YouTube comments who's like, oh dude, you got to learn the trim trick. And I know we can do that up here and then you can reverse it and then grab the last little tail end. But again, I'm learning this, so I'm not quite there yet. But I like, I'm good with this. So let's delete 
everything prior to that stay nice and tidy. Do this, boom, do this, boom. Come up here, exchange, you go there. Cool, okay. So now I got that, oh, now we gotta do this one more time. Now I wanna add the compression to this thing. The compressor on this is pretty badass, sounds awesome. Um, I'll get into talking about effects. I've got a rap about the effects on this thing, but I don't wanna quite go into there yet. Um, but I do wanna resample this with some com compression on it. So that would sound something like, that resample boom boom There's like our basic foundation kind of rhythm track. So now I'll start adding some fun stuff around there. Uh, okay, so what, there is some like harmonic. So basically what I, I'm sending this, that OG thing that I did, you know, with the contact mic, that's going into this, the particle, which is, you know, it's, I don't know what the setting is. I made these settings a really long time ago. And this is one of my favorite pedals of all time. But like, I don't remember what my presets are because there's no way of knowing, so. But it's some sort of flange thing, obviously. Let's see. I mean, essentially we're sending a bass drum and a snare sound through a flanger. And there's some harmonic information there. So let's see if we could figure out like if there's a note. starting to sound right to me, so now we're gonna add the notes. I like these notes the way this sounds. I like that, so let's grab, let's grab some sounds. So uh, I'm sending the C, this is a C4 kind of square wavy synth sound uh, that I made on that guy preset, and then I'm gonna send that into the context, my favorite reverb. that sound too, that little ee, little 4K thing, but we're rolling with it, no big deal. Let's see, okay. Uh, let's try this. Like it, okay, next, let's try. Sorry, no, that sounds crazy. So let's see, let's see here. Um. We can fix that. 
that's gonna be there. I'm just gonna go with the compression. I think it sounds cool with the compressor on it. So let me resample that with this. Okay, I kind of chopped off that little like nerdy thing at the beginning of it. Erase that, let's exchange that, tidy, boom. We're there, we're close. Also, this is all like, keep in mind, we're improvising here. I mean, I knew like, you know, coming into this this afternoon, like, oh, I know at least like the, the what I, like my finger pattern might kind of resemble on this, but I would say largely this is all improvised. So we're taking this journey together. Uh, so then I just want maybe some like, I don't know, maybe a higher melodic element over that to add, so. Mm. So maybe I'm going to use this for like a look as a, a vocal thing. Okay, I like that. Okay. That might sound whack right now, but I'm going to do my best to make it something cool. So here we go. kind of cool. I do like this little voice transformer thing on that sound. Now we're nearing the end, folks. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll resample all of these sounds into a new pad and then we can maybe like tweak with some effects with our master sound. So here we go. got that. All right, so we've arrived at the final act. I'm going to play uh, pad number five, which contains all the information that like we've created over the last 20 minutes. Um, I will say that doing this in a live setting is tricky because there's all the stop and starts and all that kind of thing. There is a way, I think, to do that with that would involve maybe other samplers and uh, transitional elements to make it to where you can in an improvised setting, which I really like doing in front of an audience, usually with a guitar, I think you can do this and get there, but it would just take a few more like, you know, pieces of the puzzle to make it not just the tutorial. Um, so that's that. And then the other thing I was just gonna say, so like there was a cut, a magical cut that you're not aware of that just happened. But um, I was like, I had already done this and I was playing. I'm like, oh man, what's going on? We got to cut because this is not gonna work. I don't want to look that dumb to the audience, but I just realized, because I was like, why is the effects not working? And it was so silly. The, ba the, the balance was all the way down. So I was like, There's, it's not getting affected. What's happening? And I just had to bring you know, the effect level up. So it's a dorky thing, but part of the learning process. Okay, here we go. <laughs>
All right, there you go. A little improvised jamming with our kind of like weird alien beat. Um, so that's that. That's me tweaking on the 404. Um, I'm really curious to see where else I can go with this thing and, you know, like figure out all the little tricks and tips and have my manual. Usually I have my manual out like right here, you know, like referencing all the stuff. But um, yeah, I'm happy with that. And that's how you do it. That's how, if you're someone that doesn't know how to work this thing, you know, that's how you do it. Um, so thank you. Thanks for uh, allowing me to go through this adventure with you and um, Nick Reinhardt again. You can drop my name in the Google uh, search and the stuff will come up. You know, I post funny clips like this on my Instagram, I guess, and Twitter and all that. And Terramellos, Disheveled Cuss, Undo K from Hot, uh, lots of other things. So, anyways, thank you, Perfect Circuit, for having me.